Hi guys, it's Brian here with Crypto Brotherhood and today I'll be sharing with you Sparkster ICO review. So before I begin, I'd like to uh, remind you guys that uh, this is not financial advice and you are encouraged to do your own due diligence and research. So for Sparkster, it's a blockchain that allows you to build and run decentralized software in plain English. So the main selling point of uh, Sparkster would be to allow you to build decentralized applications easily without knowing any coding at all. So you can do all of this uh, in plain English without any without any single line of code. And uh, the platform will have will be built on the their own uh, decentralized cloud, and they boast a high transaction output of ten millions per second. So you can see uh, from the chart, this are uh, one of the way they implement their uh, coding which is to use blobs you are able to connect uh, different functions together using uh, blobs and here we have the Sparkster platform uh, you can see it's pretty similar to some of the drag and drop functions on out there that are like uh, Shopify yeah, where you can just uh, drag and drop and be able to edit uh, right on the interface itself so no coding required and it utilizes a simple drag and drop to implement code functions and smart contracts and it's also uh, they are able to have a simple integration with external party devices and gateway and they target uh, anywhere from mass market to individuals like so mass market to enterprise grade developers for their decentralized cloud they will utilize both uh, cell phone and desktop computing power to run nodes so you can download uh, an app with uh, a mobile app uh, to run a node even on your mobile phone and miners are rewarded in spark sto token for contributing spare capacity on their personal devices and there's uh, two type of nodes that you can run uh, com computational nodes which is for processing power and storage storage nodes and uh, yeah, uh, decentralized cloud is it will be more cheaper and efficient as the uh, network grows comparing this to the traditional cloud computing services such as uh, Microsoft uh, and Amazon mm, the traditional cloud computing cost remains constant while decentralized network costs becomes cheaper as the network grow. This is due to the traditional cloud providers uh, requiring rack space, cooling, dedicated hardware, networking infrastructure and stuff like that. So you can see from the chart here, uh, traditional cost is constant but for decentralized, the more users and nodes there are, the cheaper it gets and the more efficient it becomes. So how are they going to achieve uh, 10 million transactions per second? The uh, decentralized cloud is designed to be a specialized blockchain used uh, only for the execution of their smart software and they utilize uh, cell division to increase transaction output. So you have uh, say one cell in the chart, on the left chart here say if the cell grows big enough and when it divides into it's able to divide itself into two separate cell and that will double the transaction speed and as each cell grows it will continue to uh, continue di the dividing itself and increasing and grow so uh, theoretically there's no limit to the number of cells that can be created and uh, they utilize uh, sharding uh, of the distributed hash tables by client group so on the right table you'll see that each 
uh, gray circle represents uh, one one group so each node cluster is isolated from another allowing them to run independently so data is kept safe within their own distributed hash table and you know this protects uh, privacy and uh, security because uh, you each cell only needs the data from its own cell to operate and won't necessarily uh, leak out to the other the other nodes. <coughs> so the Spark still currently support uh, Ethereum smart contracts and IOTA smart transactions uh, via the IOTA flash channels. So users will be able to write smart contracts uh, in plain English without knowing how to code uh, using these two uh, smart contracts uh, platforms and in the future they will be integrating with uh, other blockchain as well including Neo, Cardano and Stellar and the platform uh, utilizes a Stellar consensus protocol to solve the Byzantine Generals problem. So what is the Byzantine Generals problem? Imagine that in the ancient Eastern Roman the Byzantine Empire is trying to attack a city and for this plan to work uh, every general has to come to an agreement a consensus to agree on the same plan. If they all don't agree on the same plan then the plan will likely fail and not work. Mm, the same uh, problem uh, exists in uh, distributed uh, blockchain system and how different blockchain solves this uh, they solve it differently for example Bitcoin uses the proof of work uh, by uh, trusting the one with the most hashing power and proof of stake such as uh, Neo trust the one with the most uh, money or the most amount stake on it and both uh, suffer from uh, confirmation times. Stellar consensus protocol is able to achieve higher transactions through quorum slice which is a uh, forming consensus among a slice of total participants in a network. Sparkster will also be building a marketplace where users can build their own apps and sell them. So, you know, if you want to make the next big angry bird, you can try it with Sparkster. Mm, they also have already have uh, two strategic partnerships, ARM, um, which is one of the world's largest computer chip designers, and Libilium which is uh, an industrial sensor and gateway distributor for ARM um, they have developed the ability to build IoT which is an uh, internet of things device without writing any code an example of this would be a device that detects temperature in a greenhouse and turns on warning LED if the temperature rises or falls outside normal operating range and uses a relay to open or close a window for Libilium, they have built a gateway software that facilitates when and what data should be sent to the platform. The data can then be used by other applications on the platform. For the roadmap, you can see that the <coughs> development of the platform started in uh, 2014 and they signed the partnership with ARM and Librium uh, last year in 2017 launched the fully functioning enterprise grade platform earlier in April this year and they've launched the marketplace and filed a patent in May. Next year they're going to be integrating uh, Neo, Cardano and Stella as well to facilitate payment transactions. And here you can see from the chart the token breakdown. 
the team and individual um, initial investors tokens will be vested for two years uh, so only after two years then it will be made available to them 67% of the tokens that's uh, sold to token holders will be this will be done in phases to avoid high gas fees and uh, avoid congestions and this will give a chance for everyone to partake because uh, in the past some ICOs have been uh, hugely popular and not everyone was able to get in on time and some get ahead by paying uh, higher gas fees so I guess this method makes it more fair for everyone the pre-sale is uh, 250 million tokens crowd sale of 38 million tokens and they are raising a hard cap of 30 million and here we have the leadership team uh, Saja is a serial entrepreneur that has co-founded several companies that generate annual revenue of over 50 million and Amit has extensive uh, knowledge in architecting platform as a service and software as a service development models and the team has uh, uh, quite a bit of uh, corporate experience as you see from here for their advisors and team uh, that's Lots of team members here, like uh, the with uh, various background, notably uh, AI and Internet of Things. And for the advisor, uh, Gary is an expert in computer programming languages, and one has uh, twenty years of experience in the corporate world. So what are my uh, closing thoughts? I think that they have got an uh, attractive application of creating decentralized software without knowing how to code. So uh, for all the aspiring uh, coders with brilliant ideas, this is really a platform for them to explore their ideas without knowing really how to code. Yeah. I would say this is pretty similar to Shopify that allows you to build uh, very nice uh, websites without really knowing how to code that well but this is this would be for uh, decentralized uh, applications and they are promising a high transaction output of 10 million per second and currently the testnet, testnet results with 50 cell uh, it's giving uh, about 52,000 transactions per second and they already have a fully functioning platform re re release you can go ahead and test it out on their website that's a uh, thing they have a guide there to get you started and they also have uh, two partnerships already uh, ARM and Librium and they have uh, a big team but something that I noted is that I can't seem to find any blockchain experience in the team uh, although considering how far they have come and that the platform is already released I think this doesn't seem so bad and they have uh, only two advisors which is not so much compared to some of the other crypto companies out there Overall, I think it's a strong project that appeals to both the mass market and the corporations. Success will be determined by the amount of users using it to grow the network and increase the transaction output. Uh, having said that, 50% uh, of the funds raised would go to marketing and corporate and large account sales team and 10% for developing a global customer success team. So. There's a huge percentage of the team that go uh, of the funds that go into marketing. So overall, I think it's a really good project with uh, great potential if 
they managed to get enough uh, users on board uh, thank you for watching and please uh, like the video leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you found it useful